Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. We've just concluded a sitting of the National Security Council, a three and a half hour meeting which was presided over by the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. This meeting is the first for 2022. And the meeting deliberated on several issues at the strategic and operational levels, as well as other issues that are broader. Mr. President commenced the meeting in his opening remarks. He, he spoke about his sadness in respect of the recent developments in the country, the recent security challenges we've had, in particular the incident in which several Nigerians lost their lives and many more had been taken into captivity by criminals and bandits. Mr. President has directed all the operational and intelligence elements to rescue these innocent people immediately and unhurt. This is the basis on which other issues were discussed. Obviously, the service chiefs, the chief of defense staff and the service chiefs, as well as the inspector general of police, all briefed the president on the occurrences in their respective organizations. I submitted a memo to council and my recommendations are being looked into by the president. My recommendations are wide ranging and they touch on all aspects of security, starting with the level of security of our land borders as well as within the country itself. In terms of securing the nation, we've recorded a lot of successes in the maritime domain. <clears throat> and obviously the problem now has shifted to our borders from outside. As a result of that, there's a need for us to configure how we're going to make our borders more secure because of the threats coming from outside the borders. Now, the issue in the Northeast, there's been a lot of improvement, and that has been uh, attested to by the governor of Borno State during our last national Council of State meeting, but nevertheless, the fact that the Northeast is becoming much more stable, more and more people from the terrorists have started surrendering to government has not really brought to an end the way we would want the situation in the country because the threat has now shifted from the northeast to the northwest and to the north central. And this threat has to be contained. It has to be contained collectively by both the armed forces as well as the constabulary forces, the Nigerian police force, the civil defense, but the intelligence agencies also have been directed to enhance the acquisition of intelligence. The present situation in the country calls for collective effort by all, not just those that have been charged with the responsibility of physically securing the country. The most important thing for now 
is acquisition of intelligence. And the type of intelligence that is needed is human intelligence. And I need to make it very, very clear. I have to be very honest. Unless the wider society, right down to the local governments, are willing to give the type of information that is needed to block the activities of these criminals, this situation will continue to linger beyond whatever time frame we're looking at towards ending this great problem. A lot of lives are being lost. The president is not, he's not happy about this situation. He's made it very, very clear. The first assignment he's given to the security agencies, especially the armed forces and the police, is to rescue those that are in captivity. Not just those that have been captured, but uh, th that were captured during the last train incident, but those that have been in captivity in other parts of the country. That is the first thing that has to be done. On the other hand, my memo dwelt on the prevailing situation within the security outfits, their needs, their challenges, and the president has decided to look into these things and he might as well uh, <clears throat> call for another meeting in the near future. Thank you very much.